In this video, we will show you how to properly disassemble, maintain, and reassemble your Hilti DX600N powder actuated tool. Taking care of the tool is key to ensuring peak performance and productivity. Before starting any maintenance on the DX600N, be sure the tool is unloaded. Do this by holding the tool in two hands and rotate or twist the front section of the housing. Hold the grip section in one hand and the front end of the tool in the other. Push the front section of the tool body up until it stops. With the tool open and the front section or tool body pointing downward, check to see that no cartridge is in the chamber. Next, hold the front end of the tool body in one hand, then grasp the back of the piston guide sleeve cartridge chamber assembly with the other. Pull the complete assembly out of the tool body or housing. Remove the piston from the guide sleeve and chamber assembly and set these parts aside. Grab the front of the tool and tilt it. The fastener guide and stop ring should slide out of the tool into your hand. Set these parts aside as well. To complete disassembly, remove the large bell housing or stop spall from the front of the tool. Pull back on this latch with the point of a fastener. Rotate the shield 45 degrees and remove it. Cleaning the DX600N will ensure smooth and efficient operation. Ideally, this should be done every day after use, but at least within 5,000 fastenings. Parts that show powder residue on them should be cleaned. A cleaning kit is included with the Hilti DX600N and can be purchased separately when needed. To begin, use the cleaning kit's wire brushes to remove any powder residue on the inside or outside of the various parts of the disassembled tool. At the back of the piston guide sleeve chamber assembly, use a small brush to clean out the cartridge seat. Once the brushing is completed, spray Hilti lubricant on the brushed parts, but not the cartridge seat. Apply sparingly and wipe with a cloth to leave a fine film on the parts. Use only the specially formulated Hilti spray for powder actuated tools. Besides cleaning, you should check the most common wear parts on the tool and replace as necessary. Check the piston for signs of wear at the tip or if it is bent. Be sure the stop ring isn't broken or bent. Above all, if the part looks worn, replace it. Now that you've cleaned and inspected your DX600N, it's time to put it back together. Start with the stabilizer or stop spall. Press the locking collar into the front tool body. Rotate the stabilizer until it locks into place. Set the stop ring onto the piston. Insert the piston and stop ring assembly fully into the fastener guide sleeve. While holding the front end of the tool housing in one hand, pointing downward, drop the fastener guide, piston, and stop ring assembly into the front end of the tool. It should drop fully inside the tool body with the end of the guide protruding from the front. If it does not drop into the tool fully, rotate the part until it drops completely into the tool. Hold the front tool housing in one hand, press the piston guide sleeve chamber assembly into the tool until it clicks or snaps into place. Close the tool by lifting the handle section up and rotating until it stops. Using a ramrod, push the piston back into the tool as far as it will go. Before reloading your tool for use, be sure to dry fire the tool to check that it's operating properly. Without loading a cartridge, depress the tool against a firm surface and pull the trigger. The firing pin should release, making an audible click. If you hear the click, the tool is ready for use. Check out more videos on the Hilti North America YouTube channel, including our how-to video series. Find more information on maintenance inside your tool owner's manual. For more complex repairs, contact Hilti Customer Service.